Hi everyone, welcome to today's Creature Feature. My name is Andal and I'm the naturalist here at Cambridge Butterfly Conservatory. And today we're going searching for caterpillars. We have a few plants like this one here, which is the lobster claw or the bird of paradise. And the owl butterflies have been known to lay eggs on there and we sometimes find caterpillars. There's some tiny little dots here on this part of the plant. And if we look up a little higher, this is how owl butterfly caterpillars start out as a tiny little egg that is about the size of a sprinkle. Now you can see there's a couple that kind of look split open. That's because they've hatched already, which means there are caterpillars somewhere on this plant. So one of the first tips and tricks of looking for caterpillars is instead of looking for the actual caterpillar, look for evidence of the caterpillar. For example, chew marks on the leaves like these. And you can look on the top of the leaf. There might be caterpillars on top or you might need to go leaf flipping and look for ones hidden underneath. So here on the underside of this bird of paradise leaf are three very young owl butterfly caterpillars. I'm gonna hold up this dime for scale so you can see just how tiny each one of them is. One neat thing about owl butterfly caterpillars is that when they are young like this, they are somewhat communal at first. They'll rest together on the leaves this caterpillar is resting right near its characteristic giveaway, its chew marks. This one looks like it's about a second instar, which means it's molted once, grown a little bit, but it still has a lot of growing to do. Now the owl butterfly is a pretty large one. It's about the size of my hand. So that means the caterpillar has to get pretty big too. The owl butterfly caterpillar has to eat and grow for almost two months, maybe six to eight weeks. So here's another one of our giant bird of paradise plants and there is a caterpillar resting on the trunk. Can you see it? They have what looks like spikes going down the back of their body, but they're actually not spiky. They're really soft. They're just pretend spikes. All of those white dots on each segment of its body, they're down near the legs opposite side of the spikes, those are actually its breathing holes. Those are called spiracles and that's how caterpillars breathe, air going in and out of the spiracles. What's really characteristic about owl butterfly caterpillars is their head, which looks a lot like a dragon head. Now here we see a fairly large owl caterpillar that's resting on the leaf. So this one is more than half grown. We found another large owl butterfly caterpillar tucked away in the middle of these leaves here. I think this is the largest one yet, which means this one is probably a fourth in star. It's one molt away from getting to as big as it's going to become before it makes the chrysalis. Well, that was pretty fun, wasn't it? We found almost every instar of the owl butterfly caterpillar, and I hope you enjoyed today's creature feature. Tune in next week for another fun one. Keep exploring.